Hi everyone and welcome to a new little mini series in UE4. In this little series we're going to go over how to create a, a notification tray. So this is like on the side of the screen typically and it's where you add notifications to the player. And these usually are like loot drops or pickups sorry, um, or objectives that pop up or anything like that and you can see it coming in on the side and it sort of filters up and uh, they after a while disappear uh, allowing more to appear on the list. So um, we're going to get cracking with this. So first of all we need to do is create uh, the UI elements involved. So first of all we need the notification itself. So we go new user widget blueprint and do a notification UI. Open this up and we can now design the appearance of our notification. So I'm going to get rid of the canvas panel because we're not using absolute movement uh, positioning. Instead we're going to use a size box. And the size box, we're going to have a height override, not height override, a uh, maximum desired height of, let's do, uh, no, not max, minimum desired height of, uh, let's say, 150. Let's do 200, actually. 200. And we'll do a minimum desired width of, uh, let's say, 200 as well. The width one, it doesn't matter too much because we're going to be changing that quite a lot. That's, that's the one that we are going to be more flexible with. So with the size box in, we can then change fill screen here to desired, so we can see the appearance of what it's going to look like. So next we're going to drag a border into our size box, there we go. And we're going to change the padding of the slot, so go up to the slot here with padding of 0. Let's add a padding of say 10. And on brush colour, we're just going to give it a basic colour. Uh, we'll do sort of a grey a bluey grey type colour. There we go. And this notification will have this sort of background. And let's put in some text as well. Why the hell not? And that text, we're going to make it vertically, uh, vertically lined in the centre. So it appears in the middle, like so. And we'll give it some padding on the left here of, say, 20. So it pops it right back in. And we'll do it on the right as well. Why not? Okay, so there's our notification, very basic. Uh, this this could include all sorts of things like images, uh, borders, anything you like, uh, totally up to you. But for now, basics, we're just going to use this. Okay, so let's save this and close this. Now we're going to need to make the notification tray. So user interface, widget blueprint, and call it notification tray, underscore UI. And the notification tray is not going to use a canvas panel uh, and instead we'll be using a, uh, a vertical box. And the vertical box is going to handle pretty much all the way the tray works. So the vertical box here, we can then add notifications to it. So at the moment we're doing it hard coding Y, so we're just dragging them in. But we will be adding our own notification addition system uh, in a moment. But you can see how it works, it sort of stacks them all up. Okay, and after a time, they will start disappearing and then shifting all the way up. Okay, so a new one should be added at the bottom. So I'm going to just clear those from there and click compile. For now, I'm not going to put any extra code on it, we're just going to get go for the appearance in this episode. And finally, we're going to do the, uh, the heads up display. So go to user interface, new widget blueprint, heads up display, underscore UI. And in here, we're just going to determine the position of that notification tray. So I'm going to go and search for a notification tray, drag it into my canvas panel, and we're going to position it over on the right-hand side here. So my anchor is going to be to the right-hand side, and let's do it for the middle. Position X, position Y, we set them back to zero. And you'll see that it is anchoring it to the top left-hand corner of the widget which is okay for some places but not for this side so for this side we want to change it so we're going to change the alignment for the x to be one and you can see what, what it's done there it's aligned it to uh the top right instead and similarly if you want to change the alignment in y you can do it's totally up to you so that would do for us there next we're going to change the width of it so customize the width 
And if we want, you can change the height, doesn't really matter too much, um, but we'll change the height. Why not there? Okay, so there's our notification tray. So let's close that, and now let's add our head-up display to the viewport. So for that, I'm going to put in my game mode. So go into my first person game mode, open full blueprint editor, and do a begin play. On begin play, we're going to create the widget, and we're going to choose the uh, head-up head display UI there. Return value is going to come out and promote to variable and call it heads up display. And then from there, add to viewport. Something that we see standard across all my videos, nothing too extra special here. Okay. So on begin play, we're creating the widget reference, storing the reference, and then adding it to the screen. Hit save and close that. So now it's on the screen, you can't see nothing because we've got no notifications to show. But to just demonstrate, let's chuck a notification in there. So let's go into notification tray. You can go into a notification tray, add, add a notification to it. Let's add a two into it actually, why not? Hit compile and let's just play that. And you can see the two notifications there appear in the bottom right. So what we need to do is make it so we can add these notifications to this tray and that's what we do in the next episode so join us in the next episode where we go through the process of adding it dynamically during gameplay if you want to watch the next episode right now head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan daily where a donation of just one dollar will get access to that video plus many many others big thank you to all my supporters over there and on youtube members and also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content Thanks again everyone and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.